type 2 diabetes can be prevented, arrested, and even reversed with a plant-based diet, something we've known since back in the 1930s. Within five years, about a quarter of the diabetics were able to get off insulin altogether, but plant-based diets are relatively low-calorie diets. I mean, maybe their diabetes just got better because they lost so much weight. Uh, to tease that out, what you need to do is a, a study where you switch people to a healthy diet, but force them to eat so much food that they don't lose any weight. Uh, then we can see if plant-based diets have specific benefits beyond just all the easy weight loss. Well, we'd have to wait 44 years, but here it is. Subjects were weighed every day, and if they started losing weight, they were made to eat more food. In fact, so much more food that some of the participants had problems eating at all. They were like, oh, not another salad. Ugh. But they eventually adapted, so no significant weight change, despite restricting meat, eggs, dairy, and junk. So with zero weight loss, did a plant-based diet still help? Overall, insulin requirements were cut about 60%, and half the diabetics were able to get off their insulin altogether, despite no change in weight. How many years did that take? No, 16 days. 16 days later. So we're talking diabetics who've had diabetes as long as 20 years, injecting 20 units of insulin a day, and then as few as 13 days later, they're off all their insulin altogether, thanks to less than two weeks on a plant-based diet, even with zero weight loss. Diabetes for 20 years, and then off all insulin, in less than two weeks, diabetes for 20 years because no one had told her about a plant-based diet. Here's patient number 15, 32 units of insulin on the control diet, and then 18 days later on none. Lower blood sugars on 32 units, less insulin. That's the power of plants. And that was without any weight loss. His body just started working that much better. And as a bonus, their cholesterol dropped like a rock to under 150 in 16 days. Just like moderate changes in diet usually only result in moderate reductions in cholesterol, how moderate do you want your diabetes? Right? Everything in moderation may be a truer statement than some people realize. And moderate changes in diet can leave diabetics with moderate blindness, moderate kidney failure, moderate amputation, maybe just a few toes or something. Moderation in all things is not necessarily a good thing. Remember that study that purported to show that diets high in meat, eggs, and dairy could be harmful to health as smoking, suggesting that people who eat lots of animal protein are four times as likely to die from cancer or diabetes. But if you look at the actual study, you'll see that's simply not true. Those eating a lot of animal protein didn't have just four times the risk of dying from diabetes. They had 73 times the risk of dying from diabetes. Now, those that chose moderation, only eating a moderate of animal protein, they just had 23 times the risk of death from diabetes.